So anything else you want to talk about from this SmackDown? I'm I'm utterly confused. I, I don't know. There was not a lot of wrestling. There was angle after angle that just blurred together. We got eight draft picks from each brand, even though there were only four rounds. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I no, I, I I I can't. One match was a squash. One match was thrown out. I can't I, even I, emphasize the same thing for like a go home show. This was really weird, but um, maybe we could talk a little bit about it on our next segment. Is Let's, it drive time? It's drive time. Dom. It's time for the thumb drive. You and I are gonna try and distill this SmackDown episode into a simple thumbs up or thumbs down. There are no ties. There are also no star ratings, no letter grades, no number grades. You are taking this course. Pass. Fail. Dom, we're not Dave Meltzer. We don't do two stars at WrestleMania. We don't do seven stars at the Tokyo Dome. We don't do four stars on Ring of Honor. We don't do one star on NXT. We say, hey, we don't do star ratings. We say thumbs up, thumbs down. Was the show we just watched good? So are you ready? I am, sir. Three, two, one. Oh! Dom, why did you give this show a thumbs up? Because I get the gimmick, and, and I, I think it's one of the few gimmicks where they're playing off of mainstream sports where it actually works. Oh, okay. I, get I don't want to see this every week, but I get it. It's NFL draft time. I'm a sports fan. I'm seeing NFL draft picks here and there. News headlines come through. I, I think they do it well. I, I get the gimmick. Um, it, it's, you know, coming out of WrestleMania and into Backlash, this is the time to do it anyway. This seems like a really good time to do it. It, it, it pairs well. I, I, I liked seeing the pageantry for the, the, the announcements. Um, Everything else was just secondary. It was all about the draft, and I'll, I'll, I'll let that happen for one show. Yeah. So I gave it a thumbs down because it goes against, like, during the NFL draft, and it just makes me want to watch the NFL draft. Because ah! I'm like, I, this is, the NFL draft is significantly more fanfare, and there's 100,000 people in Detroit outside watching it, and it's like, <laughs> it's just a lot well more well done. And the WWE draft is way hokier with it the is. panning to the people in the back yes. that are supposed to be in the draft room and the yes. really confusing rules. And like, yes, the whole thing is it kind of reeks of Vince like there. It just feels like Vince era WWE. <laughs> so I don't know. I gave it a thumbs down. Maybe if there was like something a little it need a little more. I don't know. Not to be too curmudgeon. I usually give all the shows a thumbs up, but I was. This not was cheesy. Fan. This was cheesy, but but hey, I you know I I got to see. I got to see a gimmick that worked, and I got to see Tiffy time. That's true. Uh, we got to see that makes up for having to see Braun Breaker, <laughs> Tiffany Stratton, and uh, we got to see a champion that wrestled a match. So it wasn't awful, but I was like. This isn't my cup of tea, you know? Yeah. So that's, I Did mean, you I find yourself flipping over to the NFL draft as, uh, as SmackDown was uh, taking place here. I, I have to admit, I was watching a little bit in the beginning. The Eagles took a cornerback. So I was paying attention to that. They had a third round pick. I missed that. But, you know, okay. so it was like, there's a, I think there's a lot of competition right now because you have NHL playoffs, NBA playoffs, NFL draft. Yep. Maybe they're like, Let's try something kind of goofy, gimmicky that pushes the storyline that people probably aren't going to watch anyway. Mm -hmm. So, but um, Dom, that's a thumb drive. But 